Hi, I'm going to make a quick introduction on this linear RAM pump which uh, I've just posted up on YouTube. The uh, basic principle is it's a 40mm intake drive pipe and a 21mm delivery pipe. Now, various kits of parts here and I'll just rush you through it because I don't want to make this long and tedious. basic principle is it's linear. Um, it operates with the use of magnets and this one in here which is captive. So what we have in place of the usual clack valve uh, or gate valve as we sometimes call it is this sliding sleeve which is captive between these two 40mm uh, straight connectors and the advantage of that is that if I can get that just there inside you can see there's a shoulder um, typically on a straight connector as you're aware you'd, you'd put your 40 mil pipe in one side 40 mil pipe in the other side they meet in the middle on that shoulder so using the benefit of that fact you bring the two straight connectors together and you've got a an area within which a sliding sleeve can operate. Now that sleeve is pulled back by two actions. In this dry setup with the magnets set to attraction, that sleeve will snap up. As you might just see in there, you can certainly hear it. When it's set to attraction it will pull that up this magnet in here is set to repulsion so when you screw these two things together if I start with it down you'll hear it work better so when that's in the down position let's see if we can just catch that, when it's in the down position the repulsion on the two magnets is just enough to push it back, it's very weak in that setup. And then, we well, hear it's clicked up already. So, in the attraction mode, which is when it's retracted, the two side inlets or exhaust valves if you like, exhaust ports are probably a better way to describe it, are open. The force of the water pushes down uh, on the sliding sleeve and thereby closing the exhaust. That causes the recoil action of the water in the delivery pipe which is enhanced by the attraction of these two magnets so you get a, a double pull here if you like so you can see there it doesn't take much to because the attraction is so so uh, high in this you can see that it's already pulling it up and it's only just starting to screw in so what we have then is a very simple thing. This is going to be up for modification. Of course, I've made that out of just pressed steel uh, and it's prone to rusting. So I'm going to make that out of ABS. This is all ABS fittings here. Uh, to run you through the fittings then, we've got a uh, straight connector as I've described, we've got a, which is 40mm. We've got a 50mm uh, connector here, which is a stop end. So this plus this is your 50mm stop end. That would extend down here and you put a 50mm pipe into that and that screws uh, on and off to give you access to the pipe fitting. Drill the end of that off to allow the 40mm uh, straight connector to solvent weld to the top of it and you've got a, a nice fitting there which you can then break the two halves apart and uh, modify or do any um, modifications that the required maintenance, that sort of thing. Version 2 of this is going to be slightly different. Um, what I've done here is taken a, a disc, 40mm disc with a 20mm cut in the side, a bit like orange peel, uh, connected at the top, connected at the bottom, and the thinking behind that was that it would give drag 
hydraulic drag without um, uh, necessarily loading it to one side it would actually spin on the way down uh, and on the way back up and thereby keeping it free I actually think that's starting to to cause a bit of um, imbalance and I think it's binding very slightly this slides very easily in the dry but when you watch my video which I've just uploaded showing it in action it does bind in certain places and what you'll see is me uh, with my fingers trying to move that, I'm not trying to push it up, what I'm doing is actually rotating it there's, uh, I think there's a slight binding spot uh, caused by this, not sure but anyway version 2 of this is going to be a modification the actual body here seems to work fine this, I think it's the sliding valve uh, and I'm going to modify that to finish off the parts then the other straight connector with approximately quarter of the circumference uh, cut open with a chop saw um, absolutely opposite each other so you've got about quarter, quarter, quarter and so on you get the picture the end here is a 40mm to 21mm reduction piece uh, onto which I've glued the nut let me just go and get that you get a tank connector which is a 21mm tank connector um, which comes as this so you've got the 3 quarter inch uh, screw fitting uh, the hex head, the 21mm pipe fits into here and this is your washer and screw onto, the, onto your tank so what I've done is I've taken that and quite literally just solvent welded it onto the end of the 21 to 40mm adapter and then I've got a three quarter inch uh, pipette valve which is the valve on your delivery pipe uh, as you'll see in the, in the video that I've uploaded there is no pressure tank with this um, and when I overcome the, the slight sticking point um, which I think is, is when this uh, is being forced slightly eccentrically uh, so it's not truly uh, axial when it's being pushed down in some some aspect of its operation when you twist that off it works fine and I'm just going to work on fixing that and modifying that to, to stop, stop that from happening so and in the video you'll see what I've done is I've put a, a stop valve on here to make the pressure instant when I tested this with the delivery pipe it was pumping three meters with no problems at all in fact the problem was because I was lashing this up with uh, and you'll see in the video I'm lashing the joints up just temporarily with uh, insulation tape the pressure in the pipe was actually forcing the, the uh, joints apart so when I do this properly uh, then I'll, I'll obviously be solvent welding these connections so uh, as I say very simple the, there's a little bit of um, tweaking to get your balance points right but that's just uh, in the setup um, stainless steel screws, neodymium magnets these are 5mm by 10 uh, with a 3mm uh, centre drill they've got a 2kg two two kilogram pulling uh, so I've got two of those down there adjusted off with well in this case just a nut but you can use washers or plastic or whatever just to get your setting right so that's just floating off the close point uh, and then this one here as I say you screw that down and we're good to go that is another 5mm 2 kilogram pull and then on here if we can just that to focus we've got a 2 mil 1.2 kilogram uh, 5 mil 2 kilogram uh, and then I found it needed just a little bit more kick and this makes it work perfectly in the this actually makes it work vertically in the dry position uh, which isn't a, a, the method of operation it'll be running uh, on an incline typically uh, down the slope of your well in my case down a hill uh, if you've got it in a, a stream or something it'll be running at a slight incline, it also works flat 
uh, and as I say I just added that on there to make it a little bit and if, if, if I just shut up you hear that clicks so it's just slightly above the shoulder just slightly above the shoulder of, of this top connector that's about two millimeters above the the shoulder here so it's lifting the full dry weight of that sleeve now the break off uh, oh and well I should say these it's hard to measure but these uh, do not come into contact if they did then you, you're looking at um, several kilograms of, of pull-off strength the thing about magnets in attraction that's the strongest uh, method and in repulsion they're slightly weaker so at the bottom uh, the repulsion is is quite quite weak and I've set it so it's it's just on the floating point at the top they're about five millimeters apart um, as soon as you start to break them apart the uh, attraction on magnets uh, falls off quite steeply so when you test that the break off strength on there is uh, about 180 grams which is not bad for a little magnet on separation so when the force of water running down this tube reaches 180 grams or more obviously that then breaks off dropping the sleeve down it slams it down against the inner shoulder here now I've left a slight ridge here it's about two millimeters high on that shoulder so when that actually drops down it's a it's a positive cut of the water supply um, that causes a, a recoil in the pipe which is the the back pressure running back up the pipe so collectively you've got the slight repulsion here which is almost making that weightless you've got the attraction of the top magnet and you've got the greater force which is the the recoil back up the pipe brings that sleeve back up and starts the process over again so simple kit of parts um, try it out see what you can figure thank you for watching